Uh, so the last person to go was actually Grey Wolf. So Skiles gets to go here. So you're gonna roll the moves. You're gonna roll four. One, two, three, four. He's gonna go here, and then he's gonna scavenge the tile and fail. All right, hold back the darkness. Eight. We're doing pretty good on that. And then uh, Gray Wolf goes, rolls a five, so he's going to move to the edge of the tile, and he's going to scavenge. And he fails. And then Skulls is going to roll a four, move to the end of the tile, and he's going to look in because he wants to get a move on. And he finds the Cavern of Bones. All right, the Cavern of Bones seems like a pleasant place. All right, so we get exploration token. And that was Skelz's turn, so that's the end of our actions. So let's see what we get. An encounter, but no clue. Ugh. One door, we gotta keep going farther in this mine. So let's see where our door is. It's a two, so the doorway is here. So we gotta close off the other two doorways. So we'll use this one and this one to do the job. Okay, so that kind of blows. And uh, we get an encounter to worry about. And that encounter is going to be the traitor's blood. You've been sold out. Someone who knew about your, missin', your mission must have betrayed you to the darkness. Run. Run. Whoa, dang. All right, so everybody. So this icon here with multiple heads means everybody has to do the test. Spirit 6+. Ugh. Let's see what happens. The U.S. Marshal has two spirit for scales. We need a 6. We get a 6. He passes. Nice. All right, so... Grey Wolf has three spirit. Let's get a six. Come on, buddy. No! He has no grit to re-roll it. Okay, so for every six plus a hero rolls, they gain 40 XP. So Skiles gets 40 XP for the six that he rolled. For discovering the truth. For each hero that does not pass the test, immediately draw a darkness card. Ugh. Okay, darkness card, suffocated mist, that sounds bad, remains in play, a green mist fills the passage, choking the heroes in a poisonous fume, each hero takes three hits, also place this card on the random hero's map, on a random hero's map tile, any hero ending their move on this map tile takes two hits. Yeah. Okay. So they're both on both tiles, so we're going to place it on the back tile because hopefully we're going to move into the room. But we each take three hits now. So Skiles gets to save three or more. He takes one hit. Grey Wolf. Four or more. Oh, he takes all three. Dang, Grey Wolf is in trouble. I think he's going to be using this bandage. I think so. Um, Alright, and we got to get off this tile, basically. Then, if no hero passed the test, ambush attack. Oh, so one of us passed it, so we don't have to worry about the ambush attack. So that's nice. So we can get off this tile the next turn. If no hero passed it. So Scal's passed it. Alright, nice. So, now we roll for darkness. Double sixes. That's actually the only good double in the game. Stubborn resolve. Right there, double six. This place is horrible and unforgiving, but you're not about to give up without a fight. So, each hero may immediately heal D6 wounds, sanity, any mix, or recover a grit. If you're KO'd, you can get up. Um, so, Skiles is going to heal D6 wounds. He's got his two grit. Of any mix. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Figures. Alright, he's going to heal his wound. 
He had one of each. This is big for uh, Grey Wolf because his health is low. He rolled oh, one. No, <laughs> one wound. Man, that could have been huge with a nice roll. All right, that's the way it goes. All right, and then since we got doubles, we don't actually move the darkness track. But we have moved the mine track. Let's see if we can see the, the thing. Yeah, so we have moved past into the 8 plus range now. Uh, let me double check because I do tend to screw that up at times. I forget to move it. I think I've been doing okay. You can count the number of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've had 6 cards, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we're good. I'm actually on top of it for once. So now we need eight or more to hold back the darkness. And that is what we have to do now. Hold back the darkness with eight or more. And we get... Oh no, we just held back the darkness and healed. Duh. We got double twelves. I'm like, oh yes, double sixes. Or double twelves. Alright, so we already did that. So now we just get to do our turn. So uh, Grey Wolf is moving. He gets a five, which is a six for him. So he's quickly going to move off the evil tile and come here and he's going to look in the next room right away so we can get a move on and we're going to find a mining room I think we already had one of these yeah we, did. we just had a mining room so we're going to find another one alright so we got a mining room again exploration token on there okay and it is Scales' turn to go. So he rolls a four. One, two, three, four. All right, he gets to go up next to his buddy, and he's off the evil tile that would have been here for the mist. So we don't have to worry about the mist anymore, I don't think. So now we have to flip over our tile, and we get... Ugh! Not a clue again! An encounter with one door. Jeez, where are the clue tokens? All right, so we got to find the door. The door is number three, so it's straight across. So we cap off the ends of this room. Doorway straight across the way. All right, and we get a encounter. Gateway to another world. It actually says if we get this, we redraw because we're not using the other world in this first uh, mission. Prospector. You find an old prospector in the mines. He looks at you with a suspicious glare. Cunning five, one of us. If successful, he uses his medical supplies to heal D3 wounds from each hero. If failed, he goes crazy doing d6 hits to a random hero before being shot dead. Wow. Okay. One of us cutting 5+. plus. Looks to me like uh, Scales has a cunning of 4. He's the one to do it. Grey Wolf only has a 2. So we need a 5 or more on 4 dice. Got a 6 and a 5, so we pass that. So he heals d3 wounds from each hero. Scales doesn't need wounds healed. Um, but Grey Wolf does. A two, one wound. Ugh. Okay. Then, luck five plus random. If successful on his way out, he hands you a loot. If you fail, he falls to his knees and explodes in a shower of gore. What? As something bursts out of him. Tentacle attack. Holy cow. Okay. Well, let's succeed that luck test, why don't we? Random hero, so it's going to be Scals, whose luck is three. Five plus, let's do it. Whoa, two fives and a six. That is a luck roll if I've ever seen one. So we get a loot card. He hands you a loot, so he hands Scals a loot because he's the one who made the test. Alright, let's see what we get from the crazy guy who almost blew up into a shower of enemies. Alright, that's a Butterfingers. Dropped my loot card. Couldn't get it. Had to go through a whole process to find it under the table. 
right, so we get Dark Stone Rock. It's our first Dark Stone. So we get 20 XP for Scales up to 160. And D3 Dark Stone. Three Dark Stone. Got a six. All right, so Dark Stone, you can sell it. You can use it to upgrade your weapons and gear. Things of that nature. It's good stuff. You can get like dark stone bullets when you get to town, but it also could corrupt you, so you have to be careful. Eventually, you could buy a chest in town, I believe, where you won't get corrupted up to 10 dark stone you carry or something like that. So, things like that. There's a lot of stuff, and there's so much stuff in this game, it's ridiculous. Um, okay, so we ended up pretty good there. So, now we gotta move. Um, actually, we roll for darkness 8 plus. Double fours. So that's the fallen debris again. We don't move the darkness track up, which is good. Fallen rubble. All right, Scales takes five hits of rubble. He used to save at three or more. And wow, he's going to actually roll, use a grid on that because he got four hits. All right, so now he takes two hits. I think that was a good use of grit. He did, he's pretty good at saving with his 3+, plus, but that was not very good. And uh, Grey Wolf takes 4 hits as well. He only has a 4 or more to save. This is the stuff that's been hit, hurting him. Oh, he takes 3 hits also, and he has no grit. Oh, boy. So he's at 9 out of 11. That man is in trouble. He's going to use his bandage. I think for sure. Alright, so he's up. And he's going to use his bandage. So for a bandage, you roll um, a d6 and heal whatever many wounds that is to yourself or an adjacent hero. So, come on. Let's get a good roll here, buddy. Five. There we go. So he heals five wounds with his bandage, but of course his bandage is now gone. So now he's going to roll the move. He gets a five, which is a six for him. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to scavenge and fail. All right, so Scales is up. He gets a five. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to scavenge as well and fail. All right, so roll for darkness. A nine, we're good. Nice. Man, we're getting good rolls on the darkness rolls. I will say that. All right, uh, Grey Wolf, get a one. Nope, a three. He's moving here. He's looking ahead into the next room. Mid passage again. Ugh. find that mid passage we had one earlier there it is okay so we can break off this back one mid passage right here another place on the death track all right so scales can move through there's no enemies on these passages he gets a one so he gets a grit back and he's gonna move one up Kind of sucks. Oh well, he's gonna stay there. All right, hold back the darkness. Eight plus ten doubles, double fives. Man, we're getting these doubles, so we're not moving the darkness down the mine. But terrifying shriek, a shriek of pain and suffering echoes through the mine, chilling you to the bone. D six horror hits for each hero. All right, so Scales takes three horror hits, saves at four or more. Ugh. Takes two. He's going to re-roll that with his uh, bear claw. Once a turn, you can re-roll a willpower roll. And uh, same thing. Takes two hits. Just hoping he can get at least one more save there. And uh, Grey Wolf takes four hits at four plus. And he takes three of them. Jeez, Grey Wolf. So he's up to five sanity. 
ton of damage. Actually, he's, he got he healed some good damage on that bandage, but he's having the trouble here. All right, so Gray Wolf is up. He rolls a two, which is a three, so he can't quite get to the end. He'll scavenge this tile, and he does get it successfully. So let's shuffle this real quick, cut it, and he gets a small find. 10 XP, 50 gold. $50. I keep saying gold. It's dollars. I don't know. It looks like a gold nugget, or gold, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so he's at 100 XP. And $125. Which is good for him. And uh, Scowls is up. Rolls a six. He's actually going to look ahead. This tile's been scavenged, so he can't do it, and we want to keep moving. So we find a long passage. Jeez, oh, Pete's. You know what? I think. I think Grey Wolf is going to use his once adventure. You can discard and redraw an expiration token. Oh no, that's an expiration token, a counter card, so you can't do that. So we got a long passage, and there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, so I had to take a little break, but now that we're back, last thing we did, Scales, um open up the long passage. So that means that we have to roll for darkness again. Um, eight plus. A four, uh oh, darkness card coming. The first one we failed in a while. Let's see what we get. Chill of the grave. All undead enemies are now plus one initiative and plus one combat remains in play. So I have to remember that. And if we fight any undead, they get a little faster and stronger. Alright, we haven't found any undead yet, but of course they're in there. And we can easily find them. Okay, um... Uh, Grey, Grey Wolf is up. He rolls a 5, which is 6 for him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He gets to the end of the row. He's going to scavenge and wait for his buddy. It's a six, so we get a scavenge card. Nice. All right, let's see how we do with that. Ooh, actually something halfway decent. Useful discovery. 10 XP for Grey Wolf. And a gear card. Nice. Better than the nothing here's we've been getting. So let's see what he gets. His gear card is an old map. Once per turn, you may cancel and redraw an encounter or map card just drawn. After each use, discard old map on a d6 roll of one or two. Okay. So he already has an ability to get rid of an exploration token or encounter card. This helps with a map card and an encounter card also. So we have a couple ways to do that now. Alright, that's nice. Alright, Scales goes, rolls a 1. Does Can't get a grit. He's going to use the grit he would get to re-roll it, which he can do. And he gets a 4. So he's not quite to the end of the tile yet. And we did scavenge this tile. So we're going to roll for darkness, 8 plus, double threes. Darkness doesn't go down, but we get creeping darkness. Oh boy, the darkness is always searching for a way out. Move the darkness two steps forward on the depth track. Shit. And that gives us a growing dread card, our first one of the game. So the way these cards work is they actually get placed... We kind of quick, quick look, it looks like that... They get placed um, off to the side, and when you find the last room of the mission, they pop up. You're able, when you see them at the end, you're able to actually spend um, a grit. If each character spends a grit, you can cancel it when they when you turn them over and look at them. Or else you have to do them. These are pretty bad. They could be really bad. 
so we put these off to the side. There's a couple missions, at least one I know of that you you autom the, when you first um, draw it, you actually flip it and look at it instantly. But most of the time, you can leave it off to the side until the end of the mission. So we have our first growing dread. All right, and uh, now we are up with Gray Wolf, and he is going to explore the mine, and we are going to find the vault. There we go. So let's go find that. Let's see. I don't remember seeing this one before. That might be a newer one for me. Alright, searching, searching. Actually, I think this might be it. Around the top with the chair. Yeah, looks like this is it. Nice. So the, ent the entrance is here. So let's take this old one in the back off. Place it like so. Okay, so there's the vault. Um, and we get to put an exploration token on here, and hopefully it's the one we want with the last clue, which would be nice, of course. And uh, Scales gets to go, so he's going to roll. He rolls a five, but he's just going to creep up here block off this passageway and then we flip the token and it is is the one we want our second clue it's also a growing dread encounter but the thing is the last clue you usually ignore whatever that says and you do what it says so when the second clue is revealed ignore any encounter or attack on the token so this goes away um as well as any door icons. There's no exits in this room. So we can exit off all of the area. One, two, and three. So we find the dark stone deposit in the vault. And we need two Draw a high threat card to fight as a large group of creatures has been attracted by the dark stone. So a high threat card. Alright, let's see what we get in the high threat deck. This is the deck that's used for five to six heroes. Uh, this is it. Uh-oh. Three night terrors. Uh-oh. Those guys are pretty rough. I'll tell you that. Alright, three night terrors. Very happy about that draw. I guess it could be worse, but three of them is pretty. It's gonna be rough. These guys can beat some butt. Here's how they look. Close up a little bit. They're big. They're large creatures, which means they can push through smaller creatures, but not heroes. Um, so, that could come into play in a future game, I guess. We could show how that works. Alright, Night Terrors, large creatures. They're demons. At least they're not undead. Three, initiative. They have an ability, Terror. A hero starting their activation on the same map, Tile, automatically takes two horror hits. That sucks. They, hit, uh, they have a five move. Three, escape. So they're not bad to get away from. Five, melee. So you need a five more to hit, but they get four dice, and every hit will do four damage. They have 12 health and a three defense. And they have an interesting XP thing here. So basically, these larger creatures, if you kill them, you get 10 XP for the kill and shot. And then every hit that is done to this creature by anybody gets five XP. So the bigger creatures, they give away for, like, if somebody does eight damage but doesn't kill them, he'll still get 40 XP for the fight. It's not like, you can't kill steal these guys in a way, you know. So, it gives everybody, any hit is a little bit of an XP for somebody up until the death of the creature. Which is nice. Okay, so they start on the back left. So the first one will go here. The next one will go here. And more than half a space, yeah. So the next one goes here. And there's our Night Terrors. We found the Dark Stone Deposit, but we have to go through these guys to get it. Alright, so, the 
now we roll for uh, darkness. The fight doesn't start until the next round. And we get a five, which is actually not what we need. So we are goes to a seven. We are tied. We're as far. Actually, we're one farther in the mine now. Well, let me actually let me double check because it could be a difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're ten deep into this mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're one more up here. Which really isn't going to matter. We didn't cross the last threshold, so we still need eights. We're not going to be opening up any more rooms. But, okay. But this darkest track still goes down, even if you're in the last fight. So, we have to try to somewhat hurry up here. And things we do have, remember, we got some dynamite, and we are going to use it if we can. Okay, so the Night Terrors have an initiative of three. Um, so they uh, we're going to go last. So Grey Wolf goes first, but because of their ability, if you start on the same map tile, you take two horror hits. We're on both map tiles, so this counts. So uh, he has to save two horror hits. Grey Wolf, four more. He saves one, so he takes one horror hit before we do anything. And then he is going to roll for movement and gets a six. All right. So he could move off that tile one. I think he's going to do that because it's going to take them. Uh, actually, they could get to us next turn. Even if we move, they'll be on the other tile because they move five. So it doesn't really matter. They're going to be on both tiles again. He's going to throw dynamite. So dynamite, the way that works, the first time we're seeing it, is you throw, um, you discard a dynamite and you throw it your strength plus three distance. So he has a two of strength. He can throw it five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. So he could technically land it right in between all these guys. Which he's going to try to do. So then you roll your ranged attack. If you succeed, so a four or more for him, it lands in that spot. If you fail, then you have to roll to see how many times it bounces around the room. It could actually bounce back and blow us up, technically. Um, so hopefully he can do it. If not, hopefully it just stays in this area. The thing about dynamite is everybody on the space and adjacent to the space... So all around it takes a d6 wounds with no defense. So these guys have three defense and 12 health. So it's a good way to get through these guys fast, this dynamite. Okay, so four more and it lands right where he threw it. Let's see if he's got what it takes. Nope, he rolls a one. He does not have what it takes. So that means this thing is going to bounce d3 times. How many times is it going to bounce? Three times. Oh boy. All right. So that's not good. So let's find the dynamite card and make sure we place it and do it the way we want here. We're actually safe. I don't think it could technically bounce far enough to hit us, even if it goes back every time. But we want to hit these guys. So here's the dynamite. We threw it this way. This shows you roll a D8 and it bounces whatever direction. So we're going to place it like so. We threw it this way. So let's see, so the first D8 is a 5, which means it bounces here. Okay, the next bounce is a 7, which means, oh no, it bounces here, it's out of the way. Bounce back, come on, come on, bounce back. The third bounce is a 4, which means it bounces here. Oh no. So it explodes right here, and it's actually not by any of the guys so it blows up for nothing that sucks all right well, we're gonna keep that because uh, I think uh, our boy Scales is gonna throw his stick and hope it lands this time he can get in the same spot all right so Scales is up he rolls a one so he gets a grit back he doesn't need it and he's gonna throw his dynamite and it's going to land five spaces, one, two, three, because he has a two strength as well. So he's landed in the same spot. Let's see if he can hit with this one. Four more. A five, yes. He lands it right where he means to. Okay, so we got to damage these guys. So this first guy here 
We'll do him. He takes one damage. Jeez, old Pete's. Can he reroll that with his grit? I think he can. Doesn't say he can't. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna reroll that with my grit. You need more than one damage from this dynamite. Four damage. That's better. Alright, so this guy takes four damage. This guy here takes three damage. Dynamite's great on small creatures because it could wipe out you know, eight of them on one turn sometimes. But the big guys, it's nice to weaken them up a little bit. The guy in the back takes two damage. And I forgot to roll Skells' uh, horror hits. Oh, I screwed up too on um, the horror hits for... Grey Wolf, because there's actually three Night Terrors. So he actually would take six horror hits, not two. I rolled for two, right? Yeah, so you gotta save four more. At four plus. He saves, he takes two horror hits. Oh boy. His sanity has fallen quick, and Scowls now has to take six horror hits. One for each guy. Because he started his talent, I didn't roll it before he threw that dynamite. And he takes, oh my god, he takes all of them. Alright, he's gritting that. He's gritting that. Let's get rid of this dynamite. Alright, so save, 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 save. So he takes two. That was a good grit. Can't take six horror hits. He might have actually been knocked out with that. So he takes... He's got five out of ten now. Alright, so that is our hero's turn. Now it's the big bad guy's turn. And they move five. So this first guy, random hero, is Grey Wolf. One, two, three, four. He's going to move right here. Take his wounds with him. This guy... He's going to go after Scowls then. One, two, three, four. They can't go past the heroes. Okay. And then this guy is going to go straight behind this one. We still have more dynamite. We might use it. Try to blow these guys up one more time. Of course, that could backfire. Okay. So. The one on Scowls will go first. He gets four combat dice. Hits on five or more. And that's two hits. Scale saves one, so he takes four damage. Oh boy. This could be the end of our guys. This is a tough fight. Then the one on Grey Wolf. He takes two hits as well. Four more, come on. He takes four damage, which puts him up to eight out of eleven. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. Alright, that's the end of the bad guys.